Hey everyone, it's Bobby. I am here with a giveaway for 5,000 subscribers. I intended to do this quite some time ago, but I was waiting for a couple items to come in the mail that I wanted to give away. And one came quite a while back, and I waited, waited, and waited. Finally, I had to reorder again, and I got the second one. So, as I showed you in a recent video, I'm going to include this in the giveaway. And this is a little folder that I created using scraps and it turned out so cute. So I'll just give you a quick peek on the inside in case you missed the walkthrough. The, there's an envelope here, several embellishments, and another envelope back here which will contain surprises that I'm not going to share with you. You'll see when you get it. But I think that'll make it more, more fun if there's surprises when you get your packages. So I will put a description or put a link in the description box so that if you missed that video you can take a look at it and see what all it entails inside. So for the main two parts of the giveaway, let me move this, I have, whoops, almost knocked that on the floor. I have two of the cordless airbrush systems by We Are Memory Keepers that I want to give away. I have one of them myself I've used several times. These are awesome. I love them. Make sure I'm in frame here. They come with the USB cord and they come with markers. And I have only charged mine twice. And both times that, I, well, I charged it the first time when I originally got it. And then I've charged it one other time. And it wasn't dead the second time, but I didn't want to get in the middle of a project and have it run down. And I wasn't sure how much juice was left in it, so I charged it. But. Let me show you some of the things that it does, just real quick. I don't want to take too terribly long, but this is a just a die cut leaf that I did. It's this one right here, and I want to show you. If you hold it off to the edge and just see it's not too loud, you can touch the edges of the die and just give it some dimension. And I don't know how much, how well it shows up on camera. I'll try to get it closer. See if you can see that it's darker around the edges. And then I thought I'd do this one just to show you. Um, Let me see if I can get a little bit more ink on it. Get it off the edge of the desk where I'm not spraying everything green. There. Maybe you can see that better. I just sprayed my hand. I'll lay that there. And then on this one, I just wanted to show you. I haven't cut this one out yet. But you can spray the whole thing. And it does get on your dye, but it wipes off with a wet baby wipe. Let me grab one real quick here. I'll try not to bump the camera, because my baby wipes are sitting right there. And when you pick it up, it dries almost instantly to the paper. But you'll have to wipe your dye off. See, you can make it as dark as you want. And it also leaves you the negative. Let me wipe that off. And then if you have one where the veins are cut out in the dye, I always get it all over myself. This one you can actually vein the leaf. And that's a leaf that came with a holly for Christmas. Let me wipe my dye off. See, it wipes off real easy. It comes right off the dye and it comes off your hands easy too. I just let them dry out once I do that. 
and then I have a, I don't need that one, let me change it out to red, and it comes with all the markers, and then I'll show you a stencil real quick, and that'll, I think that'll be enough. I'm going to put brown in it for the veining on the flower. It doesn't splatter far. It doesn't make a huge mess. And it's not really loud. There it comes. Now see how it veined the flower? I hope you can see that okay. It just does a really nice job. Now, while I've got brown in it, get it off my fingers. Ugh, I make a mess. <laughs> but I have fun doing it. Let me get a clean piece of cardstock here. And I wanted to show you on this this particular one here. It's really fun to do these. You can make backgrounds and whatever. But I'm going to go around the outside with brown. And you can make it as light or as dark as you want depending on how close you get with it. Years ago they had an airbrush out that was like a bulb, like on a stethoscope, um, or a blood pressure cuff is what I meant to say, had a bulb like that on it, and you had to put your pen in and then keep squeezing and squeezing, and it, it did it okay, but man, your hand got tired by the time you got, got your project sprayed, took forever. Now a little orange. I'm just overlapping it just a little bit. Maybe I better go in a little farther with the orange. Oh, don't have it down far enough. There we go. I just want yellow in the middle. All right, take the orange out. Let's stick yellow in there. See what it looks like. And then I wanted to try another one with these polka dots. this up. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. That is so cool. And then I'm just going to wipe it off with a baby wipe. I think that's really pretty. You could make all kinds of backgrounds for cards and flaps and embellishments and what have you. And I'm getting it all over the card stuff. That's alright. Let me lay this one aside. And I want to get one more piece of card stuff because I want to try one more thing. A lot of times you'll see people who make cards um, doing polka dots or stripes or whatever and they variegate it from pink, yellow, and blue and I thought I would try that. I've not tried that before. So let's try start with this purpley pink color. see what we get. So I'm going to try just a little bit at the top. Oops. And let's go to blue. I don't know what I'm going to get with this. And I'll go to 
green, a light green this time. Now this will work with any marker that has a small barrel on it. I don't know what the diameter is on these. I'll measure one of them here in a minute just to get an idea. And then I'm going to switch to yellow again and see what we get. one out. They're fun to play with. It's like having a new toy. Okay, let's lift it off and see what we get. Ooh, cool. Now see if you cut that out how pretty that'll be. Make a neat front of a card. Really different. I just like playing with it. I think it's fun. It's like having a brand new toy. Alright, that's what I have to share with you. Um, there will be a total of five, maybe six things that I'll be giving away, but what I want to do is make it a surprise. So I think that will make it fun. I'm going to give the little project that I just showed you, the little folder, and these two um, airbrush kits, and then there will be two or three others. I'm going to try to do three, but I have to see how much stuff I've got left. But um, I will be drawing names. Let me see. This is Tuesday. How about next Monday? That way, uh, people who work away from home during the week, they'll have the weekend to catch this video in case they don't get to look at it during the week. I know a lot of people work, and they come home. They have to tend with supper and kids. and So, you know, a lot of time is taken up with that. So I will give it till next Monday, and I will draw, let's say at noon on Monday, I will draw the names, and at that time, I will have decided if there will be five or six, but there will be minimum of five prizes given away. So I will draw the names, as I said, on Monday. Um, all you need to do is comment on this video and be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. That's it. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day, and I hope 